Automate your social media and your Facebook so that you maintain a presence on your Facebook and your social media even when you're not there. The old excuse of, I can't do this because I have a full-time job, I'm away all day, and I just don't have time for Facebook and social media is totally obliterated and annihilated because of free tools like social automation. So I'm going to show you the very basics so that you can do something right away to get that set up and get started so that while you're away at your full-time job, or you're away with your family spending quality family time or whatever it is that you've got going on you can maintain a presence on your social media and keep your business building even when you're not there and you can do it for free so listen up take notes pay attention let's get going first uh, this is one of my favorite places in the world for uh, social automation socialoomph.com so pause this video throughout and follow along and take notes so socialoomph.com I'm already there I'm already logged into my account there's two versions, a free and a professional. You can start with the free version. Keep in mind, I made my first six figures, my first $100,000 totally for free. I didn't pay for anything from anywhere. So keep that in mind. It's not a requirement. But if you want to go ahead and upgrade right away, you can certainly do that. It just means you're at a different starting point than where I was. And we must always respect wherever it is that we've been planted and grow from there. Be faithful with the little things and you get more. So uh, anyway, um, you're logged in. I'm logged in. Um, go ahead and set up. Um, go ahead and pause this for a few minutes and start adding your social networks. So you go to social accounts, add new account, add Facebook, add Twitter if you have a Twitter. But I believe everyone here at least has a Facebook. So go ahead and, and just get started with that at least. Uh, and then resume this video. Okay, so now you've got this, uh, your social account added, or accounts if you've got more than one. Uh, so the next thing that I want you to do is I want you to go under Schedule Updates. And then I want you to go to Schedule New Update. Okay, so now we're on the New Update page. Here's how this works. So here's what your day might look like. If you're really busy, you got a full-time job, make this relatable to you and your situation because everyone's a little bit different, so I may not spell your situation out exactly. So you got to put some thought into this. Okay, so use draft. I've never used that. not sure what that is, but there's help files if you're curious. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in here. And I've actually got a text file that I'm just going to copy and paste from. I got tons of them. Stuff I've authored, stuff I've borrowed, mostly, mostly stuff that I've just thought up. But this is, I, I've got thousands of them here. It's a text file, just one per line, as you can see, one per line, one per line. And this is an accumulation of several years. So just so you know, <laughs> took some time to build this. And I still add to it. Like almost, almost every day I'll add one or two to it. And it adds up. So anyway, I got it on my clipboard pasting what is your first memory from childhood okay so I am basically going to go all the way down here publish when publish so many hours from now we'll say you can select between hours days weeks minutes so I'm just gonna put down one hour from now so this could be your day you wake up in the morning, maybe because you're serious about this, you're already waking up early to go to work, but you're going, you're going to wake up just an extra 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just so that you can do some of your daily core activities. So you're going to wake up a little bit earlier. And again, relate this to your own situation and just do whatever you have to to make this work. If you don't have time, then wake up a few minutes early. That's why I'm using this example of actually waking up early. So in that 20 minutes or so that you wake up early, you're going to have your Shakeology and you're going to go to your Facebook you are going to say talk to 20 new people do your 20 finds because that's like the first daily core activity that might take you 10 minutes depending on your efficiency and as you do it more you get more efficient and more and and uh, you, you get it done more quickly which is really cool so that might take you 10 minutes and then you might spend maybe four minutes five minutes maybe two or three minutes because you got really good at doing this after a few days of doing it but at the most I can't see this taking more than five minutes and you're gonna just manually uh, put in some status updates like maybe two or three that you're going to set at various intervals throughout the day while you're away all day at work or whatever it is that you're going to be doing 
And so this first one here, here's a great question. What is your first child? Uh, what is your first memory from childhood? This is one of the daily core activities to ask and a great interactive question. And you don't even have to be there for it. You just set it up in the morning because you woke up a few minutes early uh, before you have to get ready to go to work. So and then here's my different accounts down here. If you've just got one easy peasy, but you know, they're all labeled. I got some Twitter stuff on here, my Facebook, my uh, Facebook page, LinkedIn and so on. But we're just dealing with Facebook right now. So I'm going to select this account. And then that's it. Save. Uh, the tweet has been saved. Even though it's not a tweet and I specifically said Facebook, for whatever reason, it just says social loop is kind of nuts that way. <laughs> it says tweet has been saved, but it's not a tweet, so no worries about that. So then I could just do that whole thing all over again, and I could post a success story. Uh, in fact, I just got one from my friend Terry, so I'm just going to type it up. I don't have it um, copied yet. So I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to say, great news. My friend Terry just told me she is about to come off all her medications thanks to Shakeology. Actually, instead of just brand naming it, sometimes I'll brand name it. But uh, I'm I'm gonna say thanks to this. Uh, uh, let's see here. Thanks to this dense nutrition shake, she replaces uh, one meal a day with and then overall healthy lifestyle change way to go Terry proud of you girl let us know when you are officially safely off all your meds because you're going to inspire others to make some changes too Great. Isn't that awesome? That's a perfect example of sharing a success story and edifying or bragging or giving props to the person in your own words. It is so important you do that at least once every day. And it doesn't have to be somebody you know. This happens to be somebody that I know, somebody in our team. Sometimes I'll brag about people that are not in my team, but I've got to get my one success story out there. So I'll find somebody that has success and I'll talk about it, I'll post about it honestly. And I'll, I'll brag about the person, give that person props. And then about half the time, I'll do it this time so you can see it. I'll button it with a question. Would you like to know more about what Terry is doing for either yourself or someone you love? Private message me. That's about it. And there's so many ways you can ask questions. You just got to get a little bit creative, keep it simple, and don't beat around the bush with it. And don't sound like don't sound like most other people who are in network marketing. So this is very different than most people. And therefore I get different results, <laughs> better results. So that's it. And then I'm actually going to see how this works. Copying that in my clipboard. I'm going to go up in here and I have a whole new thing in my text file. If you don't have this yet, most of you probably don't because I haven't really talked about it. Start one of these going right now. I just call mine facebook.txt. Now I'm saving it. Uh, you can either go to file, save, or you can hold down the control key and hit the S key. If it's a Mac, it's probably something different. So now it's saved. So I got that new one in there. Great. And I can recycle that. I can use it as a later date. It's awesome. So get one of these going. Okay. So it, it takes literally two or three seconds. If I were to copy and paste um, one or type one up, it might take another couple seconds longer. Uh, I'm in teaching mode right now, so it's taking me a couple minutes. But, I mean, seriously, this is done lickety split. Boom. That field's filled out. And then boom. And then I'm going to go say two hours right there because uh, I just did one an hour from now. Or maybe instead of hours, I will go uh, 75 minutes. So post about 10, 15 minutes after the last one. It's on my Facebook. I'm going to hit save. 
just a few seconds if you're doing it quickly because you got to get ready for work and you woke up an extra 20 minutes early so you can do that. Look, the tweet has been saved and we know it's a Facebook, so don't worry about that. And that's it. I'm going to show you one other thing over here that I think is pretty cool. That I just started doing actually um, social accounts. I'm sorry, schedule updates, new photo because photos are big now. People are very visual, so I like to do at least one photo update a day now too. But so now we're going to do a photo. So for this one, check this out. I'm going to show you the, the whole sequence of how I do this. So I found this awesome photo on Facebook. Instead of clicking the share button, which most people do, because when you do that and you share it, then the source isn't going to come from you. It's going to come from wherever the, the source comes from, and your exposure rate isn't going to be as great. So I will right-click, open a new tab. Now it's going to be open in this new tab. Right click, save image as. So I'm basically going to save it to my computer. I'm just going to call it, let's see, bring this down here so you can see it. Is it going to cooperate? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to call it beauty. Click save. So the definition of beautiful does not require the word skinny. It's done in a, a really neat um, visual sort of way that a lot of people are probably going to really enjoy. So now that I've got that saved, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to browse to that photo. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so now it's in there. And by the way, the same thing can be done if you're just going to go directly to Facebook. You just upload it as a new photo on Facebook instead of clicking share. Okay, so the photo caption, I'm going to, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I've, I've got it. What is your definition of beautiful? Comment below. So now I'm going to get people interactive on my page, which is going to dramatically, hopefully dramatically, increase my exposure. So I'm uploading this as a new image, and I'm posting a great question, and it's all very attractive. I'm probably going to get quite a few comments and a lot more likes. So we shall see in days to come. All right, so just go down here, publish. I'm going to do this one, say, I don't know, four hours from now. Actually, let's make it five. To my Facebook, save, and then it's going to tell me my tweet was successfully sent. Oh, photo. Okay, this one says photo. So my photo has been saved. So throughout the day, that's just going to automatically go off. Okay, so now to continue with what your day might look like. Okay, I've done all this. I've talked to 20 new people, which took me 10 minutes, and this took me just a, a couple minutes. And, uh, and maybe I did a few other things that needed to be done so that occupied 20 minutes, half hour, because I woke up extra 20 minutes, half hour, because I'm real serious about this, making this work. So now I'm going to go off and do my thing all day. I'm not going to be around on this thing, but my presence is going to be there anyway, because I utilized this free tool. Very, very cool. So then when I get home after work or whatever I've been doing all day, I'm going to spend another, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour on this so that I'm getting at least a full hour of 100% laser focused on this throughout the day at, at some points, even if it's broken up into different time slots. So I'm going to come back, and because I'm doing a really great job at uh, building an attractive presence on my social media, I'm going to have all kinds of Facebook uh, notifications. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you what the notifications are. The notifications are that up there. See, that's Facebook. I got 44 notifications. I got six new private messages, zero new friend requests. Well, I just accepted like three of them, but I haven't done my, these yet. So anyway, you did a really great job. These are auto dripping, auto feeding into your social media account throughout the day. And uh, you come home from work and you're going to have all these notifications of people clicking like, leaving comments and doing all this really cool stuff, sharing your stuff, which is going to increase your exposures even more. And now, and now you get to interact with all these people and you get to just build up your presence and build your relationship with all these people and condition people to read your Facebook. So let me give you a few pointers and some of my strategies that I use with Facebook and it works really well. Like I said, I, my first hundred thousand dollars I did doing this kind of stuff and I did it totally for free. So if I post something really serious, 
then I like to follow up with something maybe really funny or vice versa so that I'm more varied and I'm attractive and I'm interesting. If I'm posting something about a product, I'm almost always going to couple that with a success story so I give validation that this works. I don't necessarily know why it works. All I know is the proof is in the pudding. It works. That's why we do a success story every day and brag about the person on our own words. And so if I'm doing that, then I'll follow up with something that has nothing to do with product so that I'm conditioning people to read my page. Because if you're talking about one thing all day long, or if you're always in one tone all day long, you're in a serious tone all day long every day, you're going to lose a lot of people. If you're in a funny tone all day every day, you're going to lose a lot of people. If you're talking about product all the time all day, you're going to lose a lot of people. If you're talking about silly, stupid stuff that nobody really cares about, you're going to lose a lot of, a lot of people. But if you keep it really varied, and you keep it interesting, and you keep it attractive, your tone is varied, your topic matter is varied, all that stuff, then you're going to do a really great job at conditioning a whole bunch of people to read your timeline and to sub subscribe to you. And then when you do post something about a product and couple it with a success story and how great someone did on, on whatever, then they're much more likely going to read it and they're going to be exposed to it because you've already conditioned them to read your timeline. That is so incredibly important. Most of my posts are not talking about product. They're just, they're either thought provoking stuff that have nothing to do with what we're doing uh, just to get people to think or they're just, um, or just really interesting questions or, or who knows. And then once in a while, you know, at least once a day, there's something product specific or maybe not product specific, but something about um, a, a success story using these products and whatever, people coming out of debt. Uh, and, and, and I always tie, you know, somebody, somebody is coming out of debt. I'll tie what that means to them. Uh, so and so is coming out of debt. Now she can buy, finally buy the, 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 her family the, the home of their dreams, or she can put her, her girls to through a private school. Or <clears throat> the, this person who's never built a business before is making all this extra money in her spare time. Now she can afford to put her kids through college without having to worry about them starting off with six figures worth of debt on their shoulders after college. I mean, you've always got to put down like what it means to somebody on, on an emotional level. So you got the, the, the result that they got, whether it be a financial one or a, a health or fitness one, and then the emotional, what it means for them. Now they can do this and this. They don't, they, they no longer have to choose between medication or food or gas for their car anymore. That's what, I mean, otherwise you're, you're likely going to get a bunch of people that are going to say happiness isn't about money it doesn't make you complete and all this other stuff but when you tie it to something like I'm so glad I'm making all this money now my parents don't have to rot to death in an, in, in an old folks home they can stay here at home because that costs money to hire home health care and, and my parents can die exactly uh, you know they can live the, the sunset years of their life and and die exactly where they where they want to be instead of an old folks home so I'm so glad and so grateful that I'm making all this money in my spare time and, you know, you just got to get behind uh, the result, the emotional reason why when you're sharing stuff like that. It's going to be so much more attractive versus doing what most other network marketers are doing, saying so-and-so and all these people are making all this money and life is great because they're making all this money. And then you get all these people that are leery and it's like, it's not about money. I got these real stresses and these chaoses in my life that need to be solved and all these emotions. So you need to, that's how you connect people and ground them to this. It's good stuff. So take those tips to heart. Okay. So that's some automation for you. I want to... Uh, I'm going to end this real soon here. I wasn't planning on this being this long, but this is important stuff. and It's going to help you grow immensely. Go from where you're at now to six figures and eventually seven figures, if you can believe that. So if you notice here on my social oomph, I have a professional account. So I don't have the free one. The stuff I've, I've shown you, you can do for free. The professional account, I believe, is something like $30 a month, which is all a tax write-off, by the way. So it lowers my taxes and raises my income. you got to start looking at expenses that way because you're... Uh, you're a business owner and, invest and investor now. So that money is either going to go to the government, which is not going to help you, or you're going to put it back into your business and it is going to help you and it's going to lower your taxes and raise your income at the same time. So I'm very happy to spend $30 a month here. Start thinking that way. Um, okay, so the main value that I get for my professional account is that instead of having to log on to this every morning or every so often to schedule new updates, um, what I can do now is, you saw that text file that I have. This one right here, I've got a few thousand or so status updates, one per line. I can upload that text file into my social oomph, oomph account. There's a bulk uploader feature in it. And so I can tie it to my whatever account I want, my Facebook like page, my Facebook profile, my Twitters, my LinkedIn, whatever. And, and I've got it linked up to all those things. <laughs> it's really cool. 
And uh, Facebook is going to spit those out automatically every so often. I've set up like the intervals and the days of the week to do it, which is every day of the week actually. And you know the time durations every half hour between the hours of such and such and then the hours of such and such. And I can get really specific like that. And I can have Social Oomph randomize the order of the updates, which is really, really cool so that I get more variation on my presence. Remember I talked about variation, how important that is to be attractive and conditioning people to read your page. So that's the main benefit. So I just have that set and I've got so many status updates in there. You can have it uh, uh, recycle, you can have it go through once and then stop, or you can have it repeat all over again so that you can basically set it and forget it and it'll just go for eternity if you want to. And you don't have to keep logging in and checking it, which saves a little bit of time too. Now, it doesn't take a lot of time if you just want to manually do it every morning before you go to work or whatever. Um, you know, two or three minutes, big deal. But I enjoy not having to spend even that two or three minutes and just, just one less thing I have to do every day because I got that thing going. So that's the main benefit of the professional account with Social Loops. I absolutely love it. I've been doing it for a couple of years now, and it's just worked out incredibly well. Now, for Twitter, on the other hand, even though I have some Twitter accounts set up here, I was toying around with it. I actually like something else for Twitter. I use a tweet adder for Twitter. It's um, something I learned from Shalene Johnson actually. So my Twitter account is basically on autopilot. I don't like using Twitter but I recognize its value. So I, I'm i I'm never on Twitter. It's all on autopilot. I tweet adder goes out and it, it follows people and it unfollows people that don't follow me back within a certain number of days. It automatically sends out tweets every day and it's just constantly on autopilot and I use Twitter as sort of like a funnel to eventually bring people into my Facebook and I have brought people into my Facebook from Twitter from my autopilot that's set up with tweet adder and I've actually signed up uh, some some customers and some coaches that I know from that from that as well so that's been beneficial and tweet adder is a one-time fee of fifty dollars at least when I got it I don't know if it's changed since then but again that's fifty dollars that lowered my taxes and raised my income you have to think that way you're a business owner and investor now you're not just an employee anymore as an employee you don't have those options you're always going to pay the highest tax rate in the country and you don't have the option to really significantly lower your tax so as a business owner and investor it's completely the opposite and you have to start thinking that way Okay, so um, one last note I want to close on is that um, it may be inconvenient to wake up 20 minutes, half hour early every day before you go to work. And maybe on the opposite end, you might have to also go to bed a half hour late just so you can do this. Maybe put the kids down and then uh, if, if you have kids, then go to bed a half hour late because you got family time after work and things like that. So then half hour at the beginning of the day, half hour at the end, you got a full hour of laser sharp focus and that, that may be inconvenient. But you know what? The concept here is that you're going to go through a period of time of pain so that you can have a lifetime of gain. You're going to do things that most people absolutely will not do so that you can spend the rest of your life doing things that most people only dream of doing because they were too pig-headed to do things that they just didn't want to do so that they can have a lifetime of actually fulfilling their dreams. But you're not going to be like that. You're going to be... You're going to be the exceptionally rare, we'll call it the top 2% of America. Only 2% in the richest country in the world has the, re the personal resources to retire with without having to depend on the government, a, a pension, a retirement, or any of that junk. Only 2% are financially independent. So you're going to have to do things that the other 98% are just not willing to do so that you can do things that nobody else gets to do. So you're going to have to go through a period of time of pain, so to speak, for a lifetime of gain. And I don't know what that period of time is going to be. It's going to depend on you, how focused you are, how connected to your team you are, how consistent you are. If you're not consistent and you have this consistent stop-go pattern, it's going to be a really long period of pain. It just is. So you have to stay consistent. 100% full throttle. And the analogy that I love using is that uh, the airplane pilot taking off, going down the runway, he's full throttle. If he backs off to 50% before he's safely in flight or even 80% or 90%, he's going to crash and burn at the end of the runway. Um, even just after he lifts off, if he backs off too soon, he's going he's gonna to crash and burn. He has to wait until a period of time, till he is safely in flight, till he can back off that throttle at, say, 50%. And the same is true in your business. If you back off, if you take a break, then uh, your, your, your business is going to crash and burn. If you decide to just come back to it when life, is, when life slows down and life suddenly becomes 
uh, easy and, and, and convenient for you to pick back up where you left off, then you're not connected to reality because you won't be picking up where you left off. You'll be starting from, from ground zero again. And then all that time you put into it before you took that break is going to go from an investment in your time worth millions to a liability worth millions. And you don't want that liability worth millions. It'll cost you so much. So stay consistent, a consistent go pattern. Do your daily core activities every day. At first, it might take a half hour to do the, the bare minimum, but you get better. It'll take you 15 minutes. That's why I timed myself and I put it out there in that core document to show you guys it doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, and just be faithful with the directions you're given with the daily core activities and the consistency. And I'm telling you, a period of time of pain is going to equate to a lifetime worth of gain for you and your family. And your family needs to be let in on it. They need to know about it. So... Uh, that's it. 25 minutes into it, I think I'm done here. Let me know if you have any questions and be faithful with all of this and start getting into social automation so that you can always have a presence even if you're not around because you still have to have a job to pay the bills and stuff. And eventually, you, eventually you won't have to have that job anymore because you're going to be making so much in profits. And as you know, profits are better than wages because profits earn you a living plus a fortune. And wages, they only earn you a living. And they take so much time away from, from what you want to do and spend time with your family and things like that. So just do it. It's so worthwhile. And I want to see you there at the top of the mountain. Okay? Be part of the 2%. And uh, put your back up against the wall. Just don't even give yourself an option out of it. So uh, that's it. Take care.